Hi, welcome back to our channel. I'm Tiffany. I'm Dale. I'm Weston. <laughs> and in this video, we're going to be walking through our barn dominium in which my husband and my father-in-law had pretty much built with their own two hands. Here we go. So this is our pole barn house here, barn dominium. It is a 30 by 40 pole barn. Two 10 foot lean twos that here and it wraps around that end. Um, we bought the the kit, the pole barn kit from DIY Pole Barns in Ohio. We'll link their website below. And and then we had it erected. The structure itself was erected by Rocksteady Builders. We'll link that below also. Um, when, we, when we got the kit, whenever we ordered the pole barn kit, there was the holes, all the windows and doors. The holes were gonna be there, but the kit did not come with windows and doors. We had already had those here um, on site. And I talked to the guys from the Rocksteady and while they put them in for us while they were here, which was nice. I thought that was pretty cool, but. So when they left, we had the building, windows and doors, and that was it. You opened up the front door and you were stepping in to mud, pretty much. Um, and then we had the plumbing, interior plumbing was buried into the ground, concrete poured over top of that. It's four inches thick. The floor is four inches concrete. Um, it is not radiant heat. We wanted to go with radiant heat when we first started this, but that was going to put us over budget. So we didn't do that. Not real sure if, if we're regretting it or not, but. So far we are not. It is what it is. But anyhow, the ceiling on the porch here is rough cut one by four pine boards that I burnt with a weed burner actually and nailed them up and then I got other ones I'm going to cover all the joints here where they come together I was, I was going to stagger them whenever we first did it but the way the trusses are laid out and the, the boards were 20 feet long it just they, they weren't going to line I couldn't put a full board so I just went joint to joint and I'm just going to cover we actually have one done down there that already has the board over it the way that it's going to be but I mean this this will, the porch will be a porch sooner or later there's still a lot of work to do out here we were more focusing on the inside the last couple years and now we're working on the outside and the slaughterhouse all at the same time but so we got a good view though it is a really nice view out here. Once this porch is done, this is all said and done. I think it's gonna, I'm, I'm gonna be happy spending my life here. But porch swing, which is a nice little touch. And you gotta show the bench. One of my good friends built this bench for us. I thought he did a pretty darn good job on it. Can't wait to have a nice porch to set it on. But uh, this screen door, was from my dad's house, the original farmhouse, which is, I don't know, a thousand feet over the hill there where my dad still lives, but that was one of the old screen doors that was from there. We brought it up here. Tried to refinish it some, but still keep the... Integrity? Yeah, that. <laughs> the rustic flair, I guess. So, uh, let's go inside. Now that we're inside here, we'll uh, Okay. We're in the kitchen now. Um, this door was a buy from Facebook Marketplace. We got, it was brand new. I can't even remember. Somebody might have bought it, didn't need it, whatever, and we got a good deal on it. So that's why we went with it. You said, still have trim, trim work to do. It's not completely done. Kitchen over here. There's no upper cabinets at all. That still needs to be done, but it's usable. 
We're getting there. 12 foot ceilings. 10. Oh, 10 foot ceilings. 10 foot ceilings, nice and high. So, get over here, we've got our closet, and I actually built this door out of the rough cut lumber, the same lumber we put on the porch ceiling outside. Little gate latch, rustic, and it was leftover lumber from the porch ceiling, so technically free, I guess, if you want to look at it that way. Got another one here that I built on the laundry room. Same thing. Um, in here, this is the laundry room. It's not done at all. Not even, the drywall isn't even finished in here, but it's kind of a, I mean, it, it, it's a laundry room. You know, we keep the door shut. Doesn't have to be pretty, I guess. Tankless water heater. I love, if anybody is in the market for a water heater, that right there is the way to go. Well, like that blow also. It is awesome, yes. It works great, I love it. Um, we already had, this is a shark bite water manifold. Um, and I already had this one leaking on me, that's why the factory shut off valve, we had to take it out and replaced it with the ball valve up there. but. It's been working everything works it's it's getting there and i i will say now before we get through there's probably going to be a lot of contractors or people that do this if that what they watch this video is going to be laughing at me but this was the other i can build fence with the best of them but i've never built a house in my entire life so this was a first for me but out here at the living room. Which I like, I mean, it's comfortable for our little family of three. Uh, once again, I've got window trim that still needs finished. Other than that, the living room is pretty much done. I mean, the window trim is pretty much all that's left. These French doors also came from Facebook Marketplace. They were bought out. They were brand new. They were still packaged. We went and got them. There's lots of drainage and stuff to do outside there. But that's that. Here is our bedroom. The biggest one in the house. We'll, uh, it's pretty much done. I have window trim to do it here. And there's, as you can see, it's still concrete floors. We don't have any carpet in here yet, which hopefully that is real soon. We'll get on that project. But it's almost done. It's a place to sleep for now. And it's probably good. <laughs> I think my hat up here if you want. I have I'm proud of my I built this hat rack myself. Welded up some horseshoes and I think it works out pretty good. I like it, but the carpet, window trim, and trim trim around the doors and baseboards and stuff in this room, nothing major, it's 75% done. This, there's, we're gonna have the barn door style rolling door that I'm gonna build like I did on the laundry room in the closet. Um, I'm gonna build the door for this whenever I get to it one of these days, but in here is, would be our bathroom. It is not even started. It's like a storage room, as you can see, flooring and just junk. But when it's done, the vanity will be over here, mirror, um, toilet there, and then some sort of shower. I have no idea what that's gonna be yet but we'll figure it out. The back here is where the queen spends most of her time. So this is my office slash closet. So I work remote. I've been working at the local hospital for 10 years now. So I wanted to make sure I had an office where I could see the, the wonderful view. Of course I do. And then my office was big enough. We have a lack of storage. So on this side, I decided to make this 
insert paint up our clothes. I got it from AnnaWhite.com. She's also here on YouTube. I'll link her below. Very affordable, extremely easy. I built this myself in an hour or so. This is also wood that came from the roof porch, the porch roof. And back here is furnace hooked to the heat pump for everything. I'm also building doors for this with that lumber. There's still, we still got a little pile of it out there. So that'll be done in here. And where the munchkin hangs out. This is his bedroom. Of course, he's top priority. So this is the only room. No, it's not. This and his bathroom are the only two rooms in the entire house that are 100% done. But little, little bedroom. We do have lack of storage in both rooms, which is yeah. which is fine. We both have a really nice dresser. We don't have a lot of things, which is how we prefer. He also has 10 foot ceilings. Perfect little size. Over here is the bathroom, be his bathroom, or if we have company over or something, this will be like the primary bathroom. That one will be like the secondary for me and the boss lady. My name is Tiffany. So, but yeah, nice little bathroom. We got these vanities from Lowe's. And a lot of what we did was local gas station has through a grocery store where you can buy at the store and then you get perks toward fuel. So we would buy $1,000, $1,500, $2,000 gift cards for Lowe's, use them to buy supplies for the house and then get I think I filled my truck up for free like three times doing that, so it works out. This back here, this little inset was actually a flaw. An accident. We built, we built the wall and stood, had, had it stood up. I posted a picture on my Facebook page. Thank goodness I was friends with the fellow that did, did our concrete work. And he saw that I had the wall here. As you can tell, the toilet was not going to fit. You know, the pipe would come up through the concrete. And he commented on it and said, hey, you got to move that wall, you know. And me and my dad were, I brought the toilet out of the box. And I was like, well, by golly, it ain't going to fit. So we just cut the studs out and made this little recess so that the toilet would fit. And I didn't know what to do to kind of make it look pretty, but we tore down a little chicken house. This was actually the tin off of the chicken house roof. Uh, we stained it. This stain is called uh, aged barrel is the color of that stain. I thought it was gonna be a little more like the door is what I was going for. See the color of that. It did good on there, but with the rough cut pine, it kind of turns black, but. Or charcoal gray. Kind of. I still like it though. And I stained the tin along with it. And I think it looks pretty cool. So, somebody that's never done it before. Here are some pictures of the build.
morning. It's the very next day. We had lost some lighting because of a storm that came through. And I'm gonna provide you with what everybody really wants to know about, which is the cost. And we sat down, we got all the numbers that we could, that we could think of. And as the house stands right now, we have about $82,000 into this house. The biggest cost would have been the barn dominium kit, which was $26,500. It included all the beams on the outside, all the six by six beams for the porches, the uh, exterior wall, the, the metal, the plywood, everything up the ceiling, which is the trusses, the vapor barriers. Pretty much, if you get a barn, it'll come with anything that's with the barn. But we had to upgrade a little bit because we were turning this into a home. So we had extra sheathing. So there was that, $26,500. And then, oh yeah, and there's a cupola and a weather vane on top because we didn't want to lose that character of the barn. To construct the barn, we went, like Dale said earlier, we went with an Amish-based company and they were $8,000 to erect the building and it took them one week. And then came the blueprint, which I designed the entire house myself, and I used an app on my phone to do the blueprint, so it was completely free. I had to play around. I played around with the app for probably six months before I figured out what we wanted. I got everything set in stone, and then I printed it out, and then I... Then we went to K2 Engineers to get our permits for building. I had to provide them this blueprint and then the permits, everything cost was $1,465. I keep looking down, I have all the, everything written down here and I just wanna make sure I'm transparent with you guys and give you exactly how much we paid. Once we got the permits, then it was time to excavate and that cost us $10,000. That took about a week. And then with, after the excavation was done, we got the gravel and that had to be poured along the outside of the house, down our driveway and, and actually inside of the house because we're sitting on, we're standing on four inches of concrete. So the concrete and the rough plumbing because our plumbing went underneath of the concrete was $11,700 and the gravel was $3,500. All of our lumber from a local sawmill and it cost us $3,900 to $4,000. I wanna give and take a little bit because we had to go to Lowe's also and buy some two by fours just here and there, things we had forgotten about. We had received a quote on the drywall that's hanging it, finishing it, painting it, and it was $14,000. So we did so much research on YouTube, so many videos, and we were, we were like, we can, we can do this ourselves. So we did, hung the drywall, got the, the screws, the mud, tape, everything. We spent $1,500 on drywall and mud. And then I wanted to say that um, the paint for our house was a housewarming gift from one of our family members. So that was free. But if, it, if I would say we had to go buy it, it'd probably cost about $500, $600 for that. And then the septic supplies. We had, there was a home further down on our property and it had burned down. That's where the butcher shop is gonna go. There was a septic tank there. We had it cleaned out. The septic tank passed, surprisingly. So we just had to get, had to get all the septic supplies, 
which is about $800. And also the water supplies for the entire house was about $500. All the electrical, which included everything, the, the light switches, the, the face plates, the wiring, not the light fixtures, except for this one. And the ones on the outside of our house were also given to us by family members as a housewarming gift. So in light fixtures, we had about $300. The rest of the electrical supplies cost about $800. It was mostly the wiring, it was very expensive. And doing it ourselves, we, we screwed up a lot. So we spent probably a lot more money if we knew what we were doing, but that's okay. The tools, we had to rent some tools out. We had to rent out a jackhammer, excavator, uh, the blow-in insulation, which the insulation came with the kit also. The blow insulation machine, the screws, the nails, everything came up to about $3,000. Now we did get our furnace off of Facebook Marketplace. We had it installed by a local guy here and we had to buy all the duct work and have it charged. That cost $2,000. And then the appliances I got off of an auction app, which is local, so I went and picked it up. They are all from either Home Depot, Lowe's, or Menards, and they're just, they're, they had dangs, but they're brand new. So all the appliances we paid $980. Oh, and the dishwasher was another housewarming gift from our family members. Flooring and underlayment. So the underlayment we found on Facebook Marketplace also, it was $75 for an, a huge roll of it. The flooring and then the carpet was about $1,000. We still need carpet for the master bedroom. So it'll be about $1,200 total for flooring. Windows and the doors. So Dale said the front door and the back door we got off of Facebook Marketplace. The windows and the interior doors Everything across the board was $2,700. Now the water tank came from Amazon and we paid $500 for that. The vanity, the toilets, the bathtub, everything in the bathrooms for $900 per bathroom. So $900 per bathroom, yes. Kitchen cabinets, as what we have right now, which we only have a couple. We're focusing on outside. But what we have right now, we spent $600 on. And then the sink and the faucet in the kitchen, we got off of that same app where we got our appliances, which was $200. And any extras, just like little things, we would, be, every, every other day, we would be going to like the hardware store. We put an extra $1,000 on. Um, anywhere we could cut costs, we did. We got a lot of things from Facebook Marketplace. We sold a lot of things, a lot of excessive tools or building, building materials, building supplies. We sold it on Marketplace, put back into it. Um, so yeah, right now we're at $8,200. The outside, we guesstimate it's going to be another $10,000. We still have to buy all the wood for the porch, finish the back, the back wall, and we gotta, just, we gotta figure something out with our driveway. It's, the water runs down it and then puts big rocks in it. But we had a lot of help from our family members, so we saved a ton of money having people help us whenever we needed help. My father-in-law was here every single day and we have a very good support system. But if you're, if this is the route you're wanting to go down, it's absolutely doable. We have been working on this house since December of 2020. We moved into it on February 17th of 2023. It's a lot of hard work, 
a lot of tears by me, not by Dale, but we thought it would, we would never be in this point. We would never be in this position. There was no way we could afford this. We did have another home and we sold it and we paid off all of our debt and then we put the down payment on, not the down payment, we bought the kit, the pole barn kit was $26,500. After that, I would say we had maybe $16,000 left. So we've been doing this as the money came in. We both work full-time jobs. We, uh, we got no debt out of the, from this house. We are mortgage-free and it feels really good to be able to say that because not many pe people can say that. We did take a lot of lower end things, so we didn't take on any debt. So now you know, as it stands, $8,200. And you could definitely do it if, if you put your heart to it, heart and your mind to it, hard work. You can have nice things without going into crazy debt. But this is the end of our video. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Bye, guys.